YouTube, what's going on, man? It is your boy Snigger Pat coming to you with a retro review. Uh, just coming off my last video, uh, I did a quick look of some heat that I picked up, so y'all already know what it is. I just want to get into a quick little detail, uh, quick little detailed look, and then um, that on foot, of course. Seller, he was a cool dude, man. He uh, he threw the receipt in there. These came from Nike and Santa Monica. He also threw in like some extra stuff. I took most of it out, but, um, but he threw in a couple of these little shattered backboard uh, keychains. I definitely lucked up on this pickup. A lot of y'all know, man, the quality is crazy on these, man. This will be the best quality Jordan that I own, I think. I don't get why people hyped over it, like in terms of quality. Like if you don't like the colorway, I don't think quality is something that should make you change your mind. Like I love the colorway from Jump. Uh, quality is always just icing on the cake. I'll never buy a shoe just because of quality. I don't care how nice it is. Like sell ones, they got nice quality. I ain't buying them shits. Just because if they were bad quality, I wouldn't think twice about them. Like quality ain't enough to make me rock something. It has to be my style, man. I don't care how good quality is when it comes to buying something. But if the colorway is dope and it has good quality, it's a must cop. These, I, I would have paid resale even if they were shit quality. I just, I love the colorway from, from day one. So I'm just mad people went crazy over these and that price skyrocketed, man. Now, uh, like I said in my last video, I had planned just to buy them whenever. Resale was only like 280. And then that resale skyrocketed out of nowhere. And she was, it was getting out of my reach, man. But in regard to the quality on this, like I said, it is up there, man. It's This is one of the nicest ones I ever felt. Kind of made me rethink any shoe I've ever like talked big about quality. Like those, those Gatorade ones, after holding this shoe for a certain period of time, I should have never compared these to Gatorade ones, man. Those Gatorade ones are synthetic leather and they just, they don't compare, man. The Gatorade ones, they are nice synthetic leather. Like they feel soft, tumbled, but it just, it don't compare, man. And when I said that in that video, I was going off the fact that I've held the shoe maybe three or four times, like a sneaker kind, but I've never held it for any longer than like 30 seconds. So I I felt the, the quality, but sometimes you, you kind of forget you know, when you don't hold it for so long. But this shit is crazy, bro. Like quality wise, a lot of what sets it apart, man, is this middle panel, man. This middle panel is, it's dumb soft, bro. This leather up here is, man, it's, it's hard to explain, man. It's so soft, it's almost like, it's almost like cloth, man. Like this kind of leather like really absorbs water. And that's one of the ways you could tell when something is is real leather. When you put water on it and it soaks up, that means it's real leather, man. If I had to rank what I like most about the shoe, number one is the colorway, number two would be quality, and then number three would be the backstory to it. I don't know, man. I just like I like when shoes have kind of like a theme or a backstory to them. Just kind of adds to the the dopeness of it. Some of y'all know Jordan played. Um, in an international game and USA wore uh, orange and black and that was the game he shattered the backboard and that's why you'll have shattered uh, glass on the insoles which is like I said it's a dope story man so like I did a video of grails that I plan on hunting down specifically heat pickups I haven't put that video out yet but this was on the list the reason I went ahead and picked this one up it's basically because of the bread toes. If y'all know how sneakerheads are, man, you'll know that the bread toes will probably make the price go up on these, man. That's just the way sneakerheads' minds work, bro. Anytime something similar comes out and it's a hype shoe, sneakerheads, we the type of people to be like, now I gotta get the other one. Somebody's gonna get the bread toes and then people are like, I gotta have the set of backboards now. That's just how it works in the sneaker game. You know what I mean? Like. The breads went up when the Royals came out. The Royals are gonna go up when the shadows come out. It's just, that's just how things go. Whenever you got a shoe that kind of goes hand in hand with another one or it's in a set, people always try to go back and get the shoes that kind of, you know, go along with it. So just for the simple fact that I always wanted this shoe and I knew the bread toes were about to release, I was like, you know what, it's now or never. 
these aren't guaranteed to go up when the bread toes release but it's a good chance that whatever price these are going for now it'll be a little bit higher after the bread toes release it's just life man that's just life but yeah at the time i tried to cop these i, I was living in charlotte i saw some of y'all ask me about charlotte uh, i live in san diego now so you won't really see me around charlotte too much i don't go home too often but i probably will be there within the next month Let's see when these came out i went to south park mall they they only got six pair so that was a complete waste of time i went to carolina place in uh, Pineville, they never called me back. Those were the only two spots I found that were actually doing, that actually were getting these. So two stores, one only got six pair, and then I went to DTLR in North Lake, and they weren't getting these, but they were getting the turtle doves, and I ended up winning for the turtle doves. I think they got 11 pair, and that shit was crazy. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Snickerhead Pat. Hit that like button if you rock with the video. Hit that subscribe if you rock with the channel. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. All for coming up next, and I will see you next video. Peace.